So I literally just finished repairing the transmission for Beastie. Um, Swap their gears, previous video is going to show that. And also, in the middle of that, I infused a larger wing or a second element to add onto this existing wing. Uh, the last test that we ran at Gingerman at Gridlife, uh, the car had throttle on oversteer, uh, which is not really supposed to happen with a front-wheel drive car. So my theories were basically uh, the car just had so much front grip that uh, the faster speeds you went, um, the more the front gripped, the less the rear gripped. So I was a little bit off on the aero balance with that. So that's actually uh, cooking right now. And now I'm going to install one of the uh, new Garrett GTX 3584 turbochargers. Um, I've worked with Garrett for coming on a decade now, uh, professionally with the racing stuff. So uh, they sent us a new turbo at some point earlier this spring. We decided not to install it for grid life because we didn't need more power, which is amazing. People that know me, everything I do is power first, but I mean, we broke transmission as it was, even at, you know, I think the car was making 550 wheel tops. Um, and actually, no, it wasn't. I only had, the highest I had was 12 pounds of boost. So it was, it was a touch over 500 wheel and it broke the transmission. So, um, so yeah, for Colorado though, I want to put on, uh, I want to put this larger Garrett on and see how it responds out of the hairpins. Yes, it's only 25 miles an hour, but... To be honest, some of those uh, hairpins, you're hardly over 25 anyway at race speed. So I want to see how the car does with the larger turbo at altitude. Gather some, gather some data, even though I'm doing it legally. Uh, no laws will be broken. So yeah, I'm going to cover that process. So after six years... This old trusty gear at GTX 3576. It's a first gen. It last ran, actually it originated from the NV8 program from the very first NV8 that went up in flames. Um, it was an event, I'll say that. So more or less the reason I got this turbo, or the reason I put this turbo on the Civic was I more or less had it, and I wanted to see if it still worked. So, obviously it does. It still does. It's been on the car for since uh, November 2013. So, it's time for the new hotness. Yes. GTX 3584. It's a new second gen. V-band. It should drop on exhaust. Exhaust sidewise, I'm not sure on the compressor side. So the way that I have this mounted on Beastie is a support bracket. So, and that bracket originated for an S cover Garrett, um, but I don't know. And then that, the turbo that's on the car is. Oh, I forgot what it's called. It's not quite an S cover. So the, I think the holes are there. I just don't know if it's going to line up. So that's what we're going to test first. With any luck, all, all I'll have to do is change uh, the outlet of the turbo from the factory V band here to the Van Gen. So it's really close. And basically, I just, I'm just going to drill out that one little hole right there. Um, because the S cover is bigger, I want to push it away from the motor, so that's what I'm doing. All right, I've got the turbo mocked up, and it looks like we're going to be all right. It's a little bit off, but there's enough adjustment in the whole thing that it won't matter. So <clears throat> I'm going to pull the turbo back off, get all the fittings on, uh, pull the compressor cover off and weld on the van gen from the other housing. I'll see if I can find a spare two and a half inch instead of cutting out that other housing, but we'll see. That's next. We couldn't find a spare van gen clamp, so I just cut the van gen off the old uh, 3576 and I'm gonna weld it onto the 3584.
get it loosely hanging like that with the braces and then from here and connect all the V-bands underneath it and all that jazz. All that's left is the water to your intercooler, which goes in after the transmission, which I've not yet put in because I wanted room to do this. And I do this long enough. You try to work smart, not hard. But otherwise, that thing looks pretty darn good in there. It is visibly larger, uh, but it fits. And Garrett made the footprint pretty much identical to what, I, what it replaced. So very minimal work involved. Um, so get the tranny in and then we'll do, uh, do a dyno test next. All right, I decided to fit up the intercooler before I put the transmission on just to see if it actually physically fit, uh, because I kind of guessed on the compressor cover rotation and it seems to fit. So, um, the only thing that might be in the way is the shifter cables an attachment so I'll have to find that out when I get on there but it seemed like it fit pretty good compared to before otherwise I'm not sure we're gonna stay with water to air intercooler let's see if I can get Garrett to send over one of their awesome air to air cores um, water to air is great for throttle response that's your charge piping at least how I have it set up about six inches of piping um, but I don't know that this is going to serve our ultimate goals. So a little more discussions and decisions to be made there. And we'll uh, obviously cover the whole journey.